Well, guns in college classrooms, that's what's being discussed in the Kansas legislature. A proposed bill would allow concealed carry permit holders to bring guns on campus. Sayed Shabir is here now with both sides of the issue. Say it. Mark, gun activists say if students were armed, it would improve campus safety. But Kansas colleges and universities say more guns is not the answer. No guns allowed signs are posted throughout the Johnson County Community College campus. Even at 7 in the evening, the hallways at Kansas's largest undergraduate college institution are crowded. 20,000 students, but no guns, at least not for now. A bill going through the legislature, if passed, would allow concealed carry permit holders to bring guns past these signs through these hallways and into these classrooms, something JUCO student Jordan Hansen isn't too comfortable with. With such tools, they could complete do some irrational things with it. Sure, they could do some very rational things in self-protect and defense, but you don't know the person. Melody Rail is the vice chair of the school's board of trustees and says JUCO has its own armed police officers who are highly trained and could respond quickly, which is why she says the decision to allow guns on campus should be made by the individual school, not the state. We do have a commissioned police force who can respond rapidly to a threat, but we also understand that not every locally governed um, institution has that benefit. And so they should be able to decide for themselves what's best for their facility. Those for the bill argue it comes down to the constitutional right. Being on a college campus or being in a hospital, you, you have to ask the question, why would they be allowed to violate that constitutional right? Patricia Stone King says those signs disarm law-abiding citizens, while criminals ignore them completely, leaving everyone at risk. Stone King added not just anyone would be allowed to bring a gun on campus, only trained permit holders who've had extensive background checks. Now the bill waits approval from the House before moving to the Senate. Sayed Shabir, NBC Action News.